Hey everybody, Brian with Fort Knox Company, and I'm gonna show you how you can add an outlet in your garage and run it off of another outlet. Basically just move some electrical over. We need some electrical um, to this TV in our uh, garage gym. So I'm gonna be running uh, power up along the ceiling around, and we're gonna be coming off of this outlet here that we have. The rental house that we're in um, is a few years old, and when they designed the garage, they only put like one outlet on every wall and there's not enough to actually um, plug stuff in around the garage. So I don't want to go too deep, but I do want to run this and branch off of it without having to go into the wall. So I'm going to show you how I can do it externally and we're going to push this outlet out and then we're going to run conduit up the wall around and then I'm going to drop it right behind the TV and it'll be all external. Let's go. So these are some of the parts and pieces that I'll be using. A lot of these um, plastic boxes are used for um, exterior use. They're really high grade PVC or plastic. They're made to withstand the weather. Um, you'll see some people do external um, power runs with um, metal conduit. Um, I just went with this because it's a little bit easier to work with. I don't have to worry about cutting the metal. So this is just one way to do it, but this again, this is at a rental house, so we're just kind of doing this. Um, I don't want to run exposed wires, so we're going to spend a couple dollars and just use this stuff and make sure it still looks kind of clean. But first, what we're going to do to run this power up is I'm going to pull that outlet out. I'm going to run the wires through this box. I'm going to mount this box externally. So this plug will be on the face, and then we're going to run the branch off and up out of the top of it. So we're basically gonna bring this box out and this will be the new external box. So first step, I had to modify one of these plastic boxes. That way when it fits over, I could uh, you know, just pull the other outlet through. I drilled the hole in all four corners of the back of this. You can see right there, I got a nice little window now. I used my jigsaw. Now I can actually just undo this outlet and I can pull it right through and then I can secure it on the face of this. And then again, like that power will just run through the top. So this is probably one of the first and only major modifications to this box I'll have to do. Kind of creates a nice little picture window for that thing to come out. So this is about how it will look. I'm gonna have this box on the outside and then I can tell based off the drywall that there's screws or nails here. So I'll make sure that I secure this side for sure into the wood. And then I might do some drywall anchors on the right hand side, but two screws on this into the wood will actually make this box really strong. But this is how it's gonna be. I just basically pulled it through. So one of the nice things about using this plastic conduit is that I can just use some basic pipe cutters to cut things to length. All I have to do is measure and mark. Then I can measure up to the ceiling and I can run my conduit up and I don't have to use any special tools to cut this stuff. So you can cut it by hand, it's a lot easier than having to cut the metal conduit. So all I had to do was um, take the measurements now in between all the little short distances that I needed to go. I have this box right here lined up where a stud's gonna be. And I just kind of cut my pipe to fit. And you can see how it just kind of runs up along the wall. I have some little uh, braces that are gonna help secure this pipe along the drywall. So then I just took down the pipe and I have it um, all set how it needs to, needs to be. And then I'm gonna run some of this Either get some 14-2 uh, or some 12-2, depending on what your house has or what you need. But run some of this through it, then put it up, and then all I have to do is pull maybe 6 to 10 inches through there, and then I'll pull 6 to 10 inches up through the top. I'll leave it kind of out of the box already. So I'll start there and kind of feed it through, and I'll connect all these. And then I can actually just put it up on the wall connect it there and pull it out. So it's a little bit easier to kind of run this wire while it's on the ground than trying to feed it up um, on a ladder. So 
So now I got everything secured. I fed my wire through, attached to everything. I got little brackets that help support it. I lined up the cuts so that that box right there could be secured into a stud. That way when you go to plug and unplug stuff, this is not gonna move. You can see I did um, two little braces. I could probably use one or two more, um, but this is just kind of like the initial quick installation. I'm gonna clean up stuff once it's all um, set and done. But you can see how I just kind of ran it externally and tucked along the wall. Those help a million, get, get several of them. And if you can put them into a stud like I did, it, it makes it really strong. It's not going anywhere. It keeps it nice and clean. So now all I have to do is strip that wire back and plug it into the back of this outlet. This, luckily this outlet has some push-ins and then I can wire that in real quick and we'll have power behind the TV in less than five minutes. So we wired this in real quick, strip back the, uh, the casing, put the uh, white to the white, the black to the hot. Just remember it's usually marked on the back. When it says hot wire, it's usually referring to the black wire. Neutral is white, copper goes to the green, and then we're ready to push this thing back in. With these outlets, you don't have to worry about if you're hooking it in the top or the bottom, as long as that little gold bridge right there is connected. It connects these two together, so you can, you can choose whichever one and it powers both sockets. And just like that, we have power. Got everything all cleaned up, put together, everything's secure, and we have this all wired in. What I was talking about is that these new wires right here can push right into the back. So I never actually even had to turn the power off on this. Now I will always recommend that you turn the power off before you do electrical. But being very careful, I was able to pull this thing out just to kind of give me that slack. And then I was able to expose the wire and push it in without ever touching the terminals. Be careful when you're working with uh, metal tools and anything else, or even just your bare hands around this stuff. Always turn the breaker off when you're doing these electrical work. But because of the pushing capability on the back of this outlet, I never even had to touch the terminals on the side. So um, I'm gonna put the plate back on this and we're all done. We still have a plug here. We have the electrical all covered, secure, and we now we have electrical, two plugs up here for the gym TV and our little Apple TV there, and we are in business. So if you guys have any questions about what I did, um, this is just one way to do it. Just leave some comments in the, um, in the details below. I have some uh, links to any of the tools that I use and some of these boxes and things in the details. So if you guys wanna get anything off Amazon, you can click on those links there. But this is just one way to do it. We wanted to run some quick power in the rental while we have our little home gym going on here. And um, you know, it came out quick. I was able to do the whole entire thing in about an hour. And it's something you guys can do yourself if you need to run some electrical. So other than that, I'll see you guys on the next build.